It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Can you remember about three weeks ago I posted that Warsteiner Lager review saying this is possibly the best German lager I've ever tried? Well, you guys in the comments box, some of you agreed, a lot of you didn't. A lot of you said, and I've let this beer pass me by so many times. I've had so many opportunities to try this beer. A lot of you have been saying Augustina Hell, Lagerbier Hell, is the best lager to come out of Germany. From a, let's be sensible about this, from a relatively large brewery. So to be able to go to your local shop, your local supermarket, pick a beer off the shelf, convenient beer. This is the kind of the German ultimate convenient beer. According to you guys in the comments box. It'd be interesting to carry on this discussion in the comments box. So if you want to comment on, on, on this view, um, I'm, I'm super excited to try the beer. I've had a couple of the other Augustina beers, but yeah, I let this one pass me by. There's the bottle cap, don't want to focus, never mind. A 500 ml bottle, 5.2% ABV. Let's get the beer out into a glass, see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass then. It's warm again outside. It's 25 degrees. Lovely, beautiful weather. Just been out riding with the kids on the bikes. And I come back and I thought, yeah, now's the time. Now's the time to do a beer review. Um, I'm thirsty. I want to sit in the garden with a beer. So, here it is then. Three finger white head. Good levels of carbonation. Looks like a regular premium lager. It's going to be 100% malt lager. I don't even have to look at the back of the label for it to tell me that. If you guys vote it the best convenient German lager out there. It's going to be 100% all malt lager. At this stage of the beer review though, I'd like to thank our channel sponsors, beersofeurope.co.uk, largest online beer store in the UK with a fabulous range of beer from all over the world. I picked this up myself on their website for review. Check out the link in the comments box for beersofeurope.co.uk. On we go. Clear, straw coloured lager, good carbonation, aroma. Yeah, it smells super, absolutely super. For this, for this weather, for this just like tackiness, this being sticky in a t-shirt all the time, this is the perfect thing to, to refresh you. It's got a nettly, stinging nettle aroma to it. Traditional German hop aroma. A little bit of sweetness coming through. Lots of biscuit malt. I say biscuit malt. Quality light malts in there. Biscuit malt's more dark. Darker beers. Bit of a slip up on the tongue there. It smells nice. Let's dive in. Cheers everybody. It's an, oh, wow, I, hold on, I want some more. Mmm. Oh. Cold, cold, refreshing beer. It's only, I love the IPAs, the stouts, the porters, the, New England IPAs, the Pale Ales, the Session IPAs, but there's nothing quite like a crisp, cold, refreshing, all malt lager. That's fantastic. That is fantastic. I'm going to say Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows, what a terrific beer, terrific beer. Carbonation pushes the beer around the inside of the mouth. Uh, it's kind of... As I mentioned earlier, the nettily hoppy flavours coming through. Nicely balanced, a little bit of sweetness to begin with, a little bit of bitterness on the back end. 5.2% ABV. For me, perfect. 
ABV. That's the ABV that, that you can have four of these beers and enjoy and have a little bit of a tinkle in your eye upstairs, which is, you know, not, not a bad thing either. I suppose it's why some of us drink alcoholic drinks. I certainly like the buzz of a couple of beers after I've been in work all day on a Friday. Friday afternoon, couple of beers, lovely buzz to finish the week on. I wish I could put into words just how all summer I've struggled all summer with the heat. I think I put a bit of weight on. I think I'm the I'm the heaviest I've ever been. Um, I made a, a video a few months ago about me being lean and 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 as fit as I've ever been. I still feel really fit. Um, what I've done, I packed a bit of muscle on and. It's made all my t-shirts a bit tight and it's made my body mass feel, I mean, I hope I'm not straying too far off the beaten track here, but it's made my body mass feel kind of heavier and I can't, I can't disperse the heat like I used to when I used to be for years and years and years and years and years, I was 10 and a quarter stone didn't move. I could eat whatever I wanted. I, I was always ten and a quarter stone. And then it, it just crept up and crept up and crept up and crept up, up to about twelve stone. And yeah, I've really felt it this summer, this hot summer. I really have felt like, I felt like a big guy. You know, I felt like a big sticky guy this summer. Always red in the face, always sweating. And I've done a lot of lager reviews. This, 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 the very point I'm making this is I've done a lot of lager reviews this summer because I've just found these lagers to be absolutely terrific in terms of just refreshing you. I have the twinkle back in my eye after dragging bikes up to a, a, a park with the kids. I enjoy, of course I enjoyed it, but um, it's warm, isn't it? This, this is just lovely and refreshing. Mm. Cold, bit of sweetness, lovely malt flavour, grassy, hoppy, nettly finish on the back end, like stinging nettles. Um, traditional German hops then. Nice lacing on the glass, good carbonation, nice looking beer. Have we got it all in? Yeah, we got it all in, I think. Here we go. Uh, what does it might all be in? So the. the Official name of this beer is Augustiner Brau Munchen Lager Beer Hell. A Hell's Vol beer. It's a beer or a Munchner beer, not a Beerus beer, it's a Munchner, a Munchner beer this one. Um, Dunkel Lager, strong, strong lager then. Uh, water, malt, hops and yeah, water, malt and hops. And that's it, that's pretty much it on the label. Terrific, terrific beer. I do a beer review on the circumstances. So the circumstances, let's see if I can get this one. There you go. I like to do a beer about the circumstance. I like to do the beer about this moment in time. If I was drinking this in the winter, 10 degrees here in my kitchen, freezing cold with a bobble hat on. I wouldn't appreciate the beer as much as I'm appreciating it right now. So, the circumstance, there's, there's the time of your, your life, whether you're working, finished work, feeling a bit big, like I was talking about earlier, struggling with the heat, you know, it, it's, it's circumstance. I like to do a beer review on the circumstance. I'm gonna rate it. Cheers. I like that beer enough to give it a 9 out of 10. So 9 out of 10 from Real Old Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers.